Hello, and welcome to Chocolate Baby Storytime. I'm Tally Hamilton, and we are located at the Marjorie Luke Theater on the east side of Santa Barbara. We are here to celebrate Black History Month and to read books centering black voices. It's time to celebrate black identities, love, joy, and families. But before we start, we have a special song and dance just for you. So let's get up on our feet and get out our wiggles. What's up, everybody? My name is Miss Alexis. It is so nice to see you. You guys look amazing. Welcome to story time. I am here to get you ready, get those jitters out. So I want you to stand up. Come on, stand up. And I want you to dance this song because I know you know it. I also want you to sing to the song. Give me your best vocals. Give me your best dance moves. I want to see it all, OK? Let's do it. Hey. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to mess the lobby. So bring your good times and your laughter, too. We're going to celebrate now. great performance? Now, let's dive into our first book. Let's get comfortable. Hey kids, I'm Shakir. I'm a junior at San Marcos High School, and today I'm going to be reading Mixed Me by Tay Diggs. Hey now, they call me Mixed Up Mike. My hair is like, wow, super crazy fresh cool, man. Yeah. I like to go fast. No one can stop me as the wind comes through my zigzag curly do. What's happening, Captain, my daddy says. Hi, I say. Bye, I say. Hey, sweet boy, sweet boy, honey boo, my mom coos. She's my one and only, never lonely. Hi, I say. Bye, I say. Sometimes when we're together, people stare at whatever. Your mom and dad don't match, they say, and scratch their heads. See, my dad's a deep brown and my mom's a rich cream and honey. Then people see me and they look at us funny. My mom and dad say I'm a blend of dark and light. We mixed you perfectly and got you just right. 
Some kids at school want me to choose who I cruise with. I'm down for fun with everyone. There are so many flavors to savor and taste. Why pick only one color or face? Why pick one race? Why pick one race? I'm a combo plate. Garden salad, rice, and beans. Tasting great, but wait. And if they care too much about my hair too much, that it's not straight enough, I say, it's my hair, don't touch. If you don't get it, then you don't get it. I'm doing my thing, so don't forget it. Uh-huh, I said it. I'm a beautiful blend of dark and light. I was mixed up perfectly, and I'm just right. They call me Mixed Up Mike, but that name should be fixed. I'm not mixed up, I just happen to be mixed. Mixed me. Thank you. Wasn't that a great book? Let's move on to the next one. Hello everyone, I'm Jordan Killebrew. Uh, I have lived in Santa Barbara for probably 15 or 16 years. Um, I am here uh, representing uh, Healing Justice Santa Barbara, one of the co-leaders, co-liaisons there. And I'm so excited to be reading this book with you today. It is I Am Perfectly Designed by Karamo Brown. First, there was you, Dad. Then, there was me. And now there's us. That's right. Now there is us. When you first saw me, you said, he is perfectly designed. From his head all the way down to his toes. And I meant every word. I still do. When I was a baby, I looked just like you. Only I had no hair and you had lots. Now it's the opposite. <laughs> so true. The first thing I remember is being carried on your shoulders while you walked me all over the city. Remember that? I had such a big baby head. Indeed. But your big baby head was perfectly designed for you. When I was real little, I thought you could touch the moon. Remember that? We sit on the roof and reach for it. One day, you'll be big enough to reach for it yourself. But until then, it's perfectly fine for you to ask for help. Remember when we went as syrup and waffles for Halloween, Dad? Ha <laughs> I do, I do. That was awesome. I wonder what will be this year. When I run in the park, jump in the park, climb trees in the park, and pretend I am a statue in the park, you remind me I am perfectly designed to explore the world. You are, and you always will be. Sometimes, Dad, when I get mad, or sad, or confused, you wrap me in your arms. I like that. Me too. And I remind you that you are perfectly designed and wonderful, no matter what you're feeling. Dad, when I grow up and leave home, will you miss me? <laughs> yes, very much. Will you go into my room and play with my race cars and stuffed animals? You know I will. Will you sit on the fire escape and feed the pigeons like we do in the summer? The pigeons and the sparrows. Will you remember our favorite moves? <laughs> I will, and I'll invent some new ones too.
Dad, will you always think of me? Always. You know what, Dad? What? I will always remember walking through the city and sitting on your shoulders. And maybe when you're older and I'm taller, I can carry you on mine because we are perfectly designed for each other. That's right. I am perfectly designed by Karamo Brown. Uh, the beautiful thing about this is it's about a single dad um, and just having a bond, teaching your son that, you know, I have your back. I'm here for you and you'll be here for me and really upholding the relationship between a father and a son, um, which I think is super beautiful and so needed in this world. Um, mentorship is so huge and that comes in lots of relationships, but it's great to see a, a book, storybook for little black boys and their dads. I love it. I'm ready for the next one. How about you? Hello, I'm Vivian Storm. I'm a resident here in Santa Barbara. I am a life coach, performer, and I mean, all around queen. <laughs> I'm going to be reading to you, Julian is a Mermaid. This is a boy named Julian. And this is his abuela. And those are some mermaids. Julian loves mermaids. Vanamos, mijo, this is our stop. Abuela, did you see the mermaids? I saw them, mijo. Abuela, I'm also a mermaid. I'm gonna take a bath. You be good. Julian had a good idea. Oh! Uh-oh. Come here, mijo. For me, Abuela? For you, Julian. Where are we going? You'll see. Mermaids, whispered Julian. Like you, mijo, let's join them. And they do. Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love. I chose this book and I love this book because I think it shows representation. I think it Oftentimes in our lives, we are afraid to really live out ourselves. And we are afraid of what judgment our families will, will have of us. But Julian was brave and he told his abuela that he was a mermaid. You can be whatever you want. Unfortunately, that was our last book for Chocolate Baby Storytime. I enjoyed our time together and I hope you did too. 
Remember, Black History Month is only one month out of the year, but we can celebrate being black all year long. Until next time.